not a good morning oh my gosh I have the worst headache I have a terrible terrible headache so oh my gosh okay so I'm gonna tell y'all I'm gonna tell y'all I'm gonna try not to totally stress out again so we're having vehicle problems right our van is broken our you know it's just it's not working properly it makes me really nervous to drive it etc etc well my husband has a really old truck like a really old clunker, barely like runs good kind of truck. But it currently it runs better than the van. We have not good vehicles, y'all. I don't know why we don't have good vehicles. <sighs> anyway, so I had to get Piper to school this morning. Narkees was well enough for me to put him in the car. No problem. So I put them in the car. My husband goes to work. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take your truck to get Piper to school this morning because the van's messed up and I have to get an appointment this week, I already, which I got one. I do have an appointment to get the vehicle fixed. Um, but I was like, well, I'm just going to take your truck. No big deal. Well, this truck, you guys... Oh my gosh, <laughs> got down the driveway fine. I get on the road, this thing, like there's no like weight over the rear axle of this truck. So if I accelerate even the slightest bit too fast, and by the way, pouring down rain outside, roads are soaking wet. If I accelerate a little bit too fast, the rear of the truck started to like spin out. It did this three different times. Oh, it scared me to death. So I panic thinking there's something wrong with it. I pull off to the side of the road. I'm calling family. Like, what do I do? What do I do? I'm stuck. You know, there's nobody I could call. So I finally got a hold of my father-in-law and I was talking to him and he told me that just go, but take it really slow. It's so like, okay, no problem. So I get Piper to school slowly and carefully. I get her to school safely, no problem. Well, on the way back, you guys, I'm coming down this road road soaking wet and I see there's a red light way ahead okay duh you stop at a red light I see that I start pushing the brakes a good 30 feet before I need to actually stop well I'm pushing the brakes and the truck keeps going and I'm pushing the brakes harder and the truck keeps going and so I'm like really pushing the brakes and all I'm hearing is the the like the uh the brakes are grinding and the truck keeps going and slams into the car in front of me yes I totally rear-ended somebody this morning it was awful luckily it was barely a little tap the truck had slowed down enough to where it didn't like hit it hit it but like i was legit panicking because i was like i have narkees in the car i could have had piper in the car it just oh my gosh it scared me he's fine i'm fine it actually did not even like ding the other car like there was no damage at all thank the lord um there was no i don't care about the truck the truck is an old clunker anyway i don't care if it's bent or whatever but uh this other lady was so sweet and understanding and i was like i promise i was pushing the brakes i was not just being careless i there's something wrong with the truck so I did rear end somebody this morning. Luckily there was not even, there was not even so much as a scratch on her car. Um, but I gave her my information anyway, just in case. And then I came home and I am not driving that truck ever again. Nope. Not going to do it. Not driving it. No way. <laughs> no way. Um, it's just, it's not a great truck. And I drove it the last couple days just fine but it wasn't rainy and I think the rain is the, the contributing factor to this this terribleness, you guys. Oh my gosh. So I called my mom. Ow, I'm injuring myself. So I called my mom. My mom is going to pick Piper up from school so that she will be safe getting home. Man, it's just, it's been a morning. It's not even 10 a.m. I'm exhausted. I'm just so exhausted. I have a headache because of all of the stress of just trying to get my kid to school. It shouldn't be that stressful. Like it really shouldn't be. But anyway, I called, I called the dealers, our local dealership, and I'm taking the the Honda in later in the week to get fixed. I have an appointment on Thursday morning at 8:30 to get it fixed and squared away. So hopefully that's not going to be an issue anymore. But man, you guys, oh my heck. <sighs> rough morning I'm just I need to breathe I need to just get some coffee and 
chill for a minute because I'm just stressed <laughs> and my head is killing me. So I went and laid down for about 30 minutes and just kind of de-stressed. I actually did not take any ibuprofen, I didn't take any Tylenol, and my headache went away. So I know the headache was purely because I was so stressed out from this morning's events. It just, you guys, you guys don't even know. I mean, maybe you do, I hope you don't. I hope you never feel that way when you're driving with your kids in the car, but I would have been way less panicked if I didn't have any kids with me. Like, I probably, it probably wouldn't have even been a thing. Like, I would have just been like, oh, my car is messing up, I need to pull over, you know, and it wouldn't have been an issue. But because I had my kids with me, it was just like all of these like worst case scenarios were going through my head, like what if we wreck, what if something happens, you know, what if this is a real, real problem, you know, I don't know, car problems, you guys, I, I don't do well with vehicles. What, sweetie? No, honey, she's not here yet. He keeps asking for, for my mom. He calls her Momo um, because he, I told him that Momo's picking Piper up from school today because I refuse to drive the truck again. Not doing it. No, no, <laughs> I don't care. I told my husband, I was like, you have a sexist truck. <laughs> that truck hates women because it will not, it was trying to kill me. <laughs> not really, but it, it was not fun. Oh my gosh, it was awful. I was just so scared. Anyway, not taking the truck. My headache is gone. It's okay. The Lord protected us, y'all. I prayed from the time I got in that truck till I got out of that truck. I, I prayed. I was so scared. Oh, I don't. I, that's like one of my big fears. Like, you know how you, everyone has a fear, I think. Like, you always have something that, oh my gosh, is in the back of your head. Um, when I was in high school, it was right before my 16th birthday and I was in a really bad car wreck. Um, we had gone up to a uh, convention with my church and I was participating in it and my best friend was in the car with me. We were sitting in the back seat and we were on our way home from the convention and on our way home, like we'd been up all night, you know, we were riding with a friend and her dad and her dad fell asleep at the wheel on the interstate in the rain and the car just went off the side of the road and it flipped four times and landed upside down in a ditch. Luckily, the worst injury in that car accident was a broken nose and like a bunch of bruises and all this kind of stuff. But like the fear of having a car wreck is still with me because that was the scariest thing ever. So literally every time I get in the car, it crosses my mind. like. It, it's just a fear and I know, I know if you're safe, you're gonna be okay, but I don't know, just having been through a really bad car wreck, luckily, by the grace of God, you guys, that we were okay when I was in that car wreck, but I'm talking about the one in high school, not the one this morning. The one this morning was not a big deal. It wasn't even really a wreck. Like it was a stoplight and the car in front of me was stopped and I had the brakes on and the car, the truck slowed down significantly. And I mean, it barely tapped. So when I say that I rear-ended someone, I don't mean like I boom, like rear-ended them. Like it was a really a light tap, but I don't know, just fear you guys, car wrecks. Oh, so scary to me, look at my cat y'all. He is just sitting on the counter. I love my, okay, got the coffee brewing. Coffee's brewing, but it's all gonna be fine, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna spend the day cleaning up the house. Um, our keys is over here trying to go to sleep. Yeah, honey. Yeah, mama. Yeah, I'm here, honey. Mom will be here later. Go to sleep, okay? Yeah. Yeah. He had his morning medication. Y'all, he woke up this morning in a great mood. He was talking to me and he was a little chatterbox taking Piper to school and he was just in a great mood. And I kept asking, I was like, are you hurting? And he'd say, no. No, I'm not hurting, no. And I was like, really? Okay. That's good. <laughs> I'm glad you're not hurting. Um, so he had a really good morning, but I did give him his pain medicine anyway. Um, just because I know he needs it. 
<sighs> anyway, he's had breakfast. He's over there resting. And I'm gonna have some breakfast. This is not healthy at all. This is not, this is super not healthy. I'm having like um, Nutella on a tortilla for breakfast. Is that healthy? No way. No way is that healthy. But I'm only having half of one because I'm gonna save the other half for an Arceus. But anyway, I'm gonna have some coffee. I'm gonna relax for a little bit and then I'm just gonna get my chores done. Oh, the day will get better, you guys. I need to have a better attitude. The day will get better. I can't get worse. I can't get worse, that's for sure. <laughs> I cannot get worse. Also, a few of you have been asking why I haven't really talked about the adoption in the last couple of vlogs. Honestly, there's not like a ton to tell. We are starting our home study. Our vehicles are messed up and I can't even get to the bank, you guys. I have to get to the bank to get a cashier's check because we're ridiculous. We're adults, I know this, but we don't own or have personal checks. Like we never write checks. I don't think I've written a personal check in my life. Is that weird? That may be very bizarre, but I've never written a personal check. I, we use debit card or we use cash. That's just how we operate. That's how we work with things. Um, I don't know, we've just never used a check for any reason at all. Um, so I don't have checks. <laughs> So I have to go to the bank to get a cashier's check to send to the agency to start up the home study. But because our vehicles are messed up, I can't get to the bank to get the check. It's just, it's just a deal, you guys. And since I'm stuck home with keys, I don't want to get him out a ton either. So I don't know. It's going to have to wait until Friday, I guess, until I can get a cashier's check. And I hate it because it's delaying our FSP getting put up on Reese's Rainbow. And it's just kind of delay. It's like a delaying the process a whole week. And it's just, bah, it irks me so bad. But when you're doing an adoption, you know, you just have to take things one step at a time. I received all of the emails. Well, not all of them. You don't receive all of the emails till you have your FSP up. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. I, I start speaking adoption lingo and I just assume the rest of the world is inside of my head with me and you guys are gonna know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments, I will explain further. But um, anyway, the first step is a home study. So I filled out the preliminary paperwork for it and then we have to get someone, a social worker out. We have to have several meetings with the social worker. They're gonna review things like our financial status, our you know, assets, jobs, our home life, stability, all of that kind of thing is going to be evaluated and scrutinized. That's just what a home study is. Um, so, and then they'll come out and they'll evaluate your home and make sure your home is safe and all of that stuff, which means my house can't look like it does right now. We can't, it can't. <laughs> we have to have some organization occur in this house um, before the home study happens. But anyway, that is our next step. And then it's getting all of the paperwork together, getting USCIS approval, and then getting our dossier together. All of that is basically a huge packet that we're going to send to our daughter's country. Um, <clears throat> all of that is, has to be done. It's a long process, you guys. It's not like a quick thing, so it's not something I'm gonna update you guys on every single day, because you guys would get sick of me <laughs> if I updated you every day, because it'd be like, oh, nothing happened today, you know? Like, we're just in the same spot. Um, it's a lot of hurry up and wait um, with adoption, especially international adoption. And some of you guys are asking me, is her real name Priscilla? Like, is that what we're going to name her? No. <laughs> We are not going to name her Priscilla. Priscilla is her cover name um, that Reese's Rainbow is using. And that's what we're going to call her. That is for her protection. It is not her real name. We're not going, we're probably not going to use her real name. We do have a name picked out for her and we will reveal that in time. We're not going to tell you guys yet because I do want to do a fun name reveal video later on when we're closer to traveling. Um, but we do have a name picked out and I love her name, you guys. I love it, I love her name. It means, it means a lot to me personally, her name. Um, so we will share the name when, when, I can't talk, I can't talk. You guys, my brain, I think I fried my brain this morning, stressing out. Um, we will share the name in time. So that's not something we're gonna jump on and share right away. Anyhow, anyhow, I'm gonna start cleaning up the house. I sat down, I had my cup of coffee, I laid down for 30 minutes, I'm de-stressed. I've got about an hour and a half that I have to clean up the house before I need to get in the shower and then wait for my mom and Piper to get home. 
So kind of a low key day from here on out. And I'm so thankful because I did not want to do anything the rest of the day other than just hang out and take care of my man over here. He is just wanting his momo, aren't you? He's listening to music on my phone. Y'all, his bed is so messy. He's been playing all morning. He's doing good this morning, huh? Momo. Yeah, Momo will be here later. Are you feeling better today? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> you... No. No, you're still going to be pitiful. That's okay. You can be pitiful all you want. Let's see Momo. You want to see Momo? Yeah. I need to change your pillowcase. He got drools all over it. He really is doing a lot better today. He he's still he's kind of milking it. I'm not gonna lie. He's he's totally milking this whole mama's waiting on me thing and loving on me, and that's okay. I don't mind at all. So I'm just letting him milk it, and it's no big deal. And I know he probably hurts. He will probably hurt for a good good couple of weeks, maybe even the whole six weeks. I don't know. I've never had a valgus osteotomy. I know, love. Hang on. He, he's doing better this morning. He's a lot more chatty. Yesterday, I don't think he said even two words. Like, I don't think he talked at all yesterday because he was hurting so bad. Um, and I definitely had to give him quite a bit of medication yesterday. I honestly, honestly, guys, this is going to be a long vlog. I can already tell this is going to be a long vlog. <laughs> it's going to be a long one. I don't feel like they gave him enough medicine. Like, this is the hydrocodone, and it's a... Uh, it's a 30 count. So he only gave him 30. And I, maybe that's enough. I don't know. He doesn't ha even have a checkup with his doctor for two weeks. And I don't think that's going to last two weeks. And I, I don't know. I just don't think it's enough. <laughs> We're going to see. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely using it as needed. But I don't think it's going to last him as long as, it, as long as he will need the pain medicine. Does that make sense? I'm so tongue-tied, y'all. I'm so sorry. My brain is just gone right now. Anyway, I'm going to get started on some cleaning and straightening. I need to vacuum Piper's room. I need to clear Piper's room out. I made myself a list. You guys, look at this. Look at this. I made myself a list. Monday, call Honda dealer, clean kitchen, clean Piper's room, fold and put away clothes, go to the bank. That's that check I was telling you guys about that I can't seem to get to the bank to get. I need to vacuum and clean the bathroom. So... I do that every evening. I don't ever show you guys that though. I do that every evening. I will write myself a list of what I need to do the next day because I will forget. <laughs> I will forget, I will get distracted and then I won't do it. So I have a list, I can check it off. We're gonna be good, do good. I'm gonna get started. All right, so Pipey is at home. She, my mom dropped her off. Y'all, she loves celery. I love that this kid likes healthy things. Is it so good? Yeah? What's, what is your favorite food? What are you doing? That, that food. And I'm making her some oatmeal too. Okay guys, so it's pouring rain outside. And I sat out there for like 30 minutes. So I'm a little, I'm a little damp. I sat under the tree though, so it wasn't too bad. But Aiden is home. He's home. His bus comes like 30 minutes after Zoe's. So it's a little frustrating because I wait on Zoe and then I know we're still going to be out there a while waiting on Aiden. Dance, 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 dance. Dance, 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 dance. <laughs> Little Bowie. Little Bowie, hi. How is your day, sweet boy? How is your day? Okay, guys, so all of the kids are in bed. I am going to go ahead and close out today's vlog. I was just making, hello, focus. <laughs> I was just making Zoe's lunch for tomorrow. So Piper has recently decided that she does not like bringing her lunch to school. She would rather buy her lunch, I guess, because for her, buying her lunch is still sort of new and exciting. Um, so she is buying her lunch. Zoe, however, has made it very clear that she hates all cafeteria food. So I packed Zoe's lunch, so this is what Zoe is going to be eating tomorrow for lunch. She's just got crackers, oh, excuse me, cheese, corn, some oranges, some um, blueberries, a peanut butter sandwich, and these are vitamin gummies. <laughs> so she thinks she's getting a treat, but she's not really getting a treat. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. 
Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you guys are all doing awesome, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Loud the wind's home.